Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good. Anyways, I know a lot of you guys have been asking me to talk about the whole Nicki Minaj situation. I'm sure the bars will be happy. I'm finally making a Nicki Minaj video, okay? So if you guys don't know, it went viral the other day because Nicki Minaj basically drugged Miley Cyrus for the damn filth on her Korean radio show. So what's going down is this. Once again, Miley Cyrus is being a tad bit messy. Now, Nicki Minaj and Miley Cyrus's beef, it dates back to 2014. Supposedly, Miley Cyrus was throwing shots at Nicki Minaj in a magazine article. And so Nicki Minaj, you know what I'm saying, decided to go to the VMA stage and confront Miley Cyrus and say, you know, now I got some words for that bitch who had a lot to say about me the other day. Anyways, let me roll the clip, refresh your memory. Y'all go ahead and check this out. And now, back to this bitch that had a lot to say about me the other day in the press. Miley, what's good? Hey. All right, y'all just saw Nikki, you know what I'm saying? And they called her the angry black girl. You know, you're attacking this, this wee white lass. Why are you attacking Miley? That's not okay. I remember Wendy Williams even said that Miley was a little girl. I'm like, bitch, Miley Cyrus is a grown ass woman. If you can dish it, you better be able to damn take it, okay? So that's where their beef kind of started way back then. And then recently, Miley Cyrus decided to do a song. And in that song, she's shouting out Cardi and saying that she doesn't listen to Nicki Minaj. So y'all go ahead and check out this song snippet here. I'm the moon, I'm the stars, I'm a Maserati. I love you, Nicki, but I listen to Cardi. I got a new song on the radio. All right, so you guys just heard that snippet. So, of course, once that went viral, honey, basically Nicki Minaj went off and compared Miley Cyrus to Purdue Chicken. And then also came on and said that Miley Cyrus was sucking Mike Will's dick, okay? Yes, Mike, y'all know Mike Will. Mike Will made it. Yeah, he made Miley Cyrus suck his damn dick, okay? Per Nicki Minaj. Y'all go ahead and check out this clip and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. So I feel like it's sort of shaping things just because, like, I heard a record when Miley Cyrus was trying to talk crazy. So, you know, her I, dude check it. Well, hold yeah, what's up? Like, what's up? <laughs> you heard that? What you think about? Because I was like, I was like, uh, well, who's uh, this? Her dude check it. <laughs> Can never talk shit Crazy. about Queen. Talk about it. But I do notice a lot of Purdue chickens recently have been trying to say the queen's name for clout. Mm. And that's always been happening. And yeah. that's what she did in the first place. And then she cried. You know, the white girl cried and made black girls seem like she was a bad guy. In the first place, she disrespected me in a magazine article for no reason. I had just seen her after she was sucking Mike Will's dick in the studio. Mm. <laughs> like, you sucked suck all, that, that, you suck all that dick. You sucked all that dick. Only to come out looking like a Purdue fucking chicken on the stage and then got mad and went back to country music. Just shut your stupid ass up. Talk about it. Talk about it. Honey. Nicki Minaj was not here for the foolishness. She put it all out there, okay? So she definitely came from Miley Cyrus. She definitely clapped on her. Everybody was talking about this on social media. You know, I find that whole situation funny. You know, I'm glad she spoke up. I'm glad she said something to Miley Cyrus. But I'm not going to give her, you know, like, you know, cold, hardcore props, okay? Because it's very easy to punk a Miley Cyrus, but it's kind of hard to punk a Remy Ma, okay? I would have, you know, given her, you know, clap back props had she came the same way at Remy. But, you know, it's still funny. You know, she still said what the hell she had to damn say to Miley. I do believe that Miley Cyrus is being messy, okay? And when you go out your way to do clownery in my damn Monique voice, sometimes the clown comes back to damn bite, okay? See, when you do clownery, the clown comes back to bite. And that's exactly what Nicki Minaj did. So on top of that, Nicki Minaj is also promoting her new song, Megatron. And Megatron um, became number one on iTunes. People are loving the song. She also decided to talk about her relationship with Kenneth Zupetti. And as we all know, they've been together for a while. Now, she's known him for a long time. She knew him when she was younger. You know, they, they lost, you know, uh, communication. They parted ways. Well, hell, he went to damn prison, okay? And so, basically, she decided to come back to New York, like, back in November. She was doing a few drives. And lo and behold, Mr. Zupetti shows up and, you know, sparks fly again. And so, now they're back together. 
Nikki is telling her audience that she applied for a marriage license, okay? But word in these industry streets is that Nicki Minaj and Kenneth Zupetti have been married. They got married a few months ago. You guys saw Nicki Minaj on the beach writing, oh, Nika loves Kenny and all that other, you know, cutesy wootsy shit. You know what I mean? So they're saying that she's been married for a while, but at that point she couldn't announce it because of a lot of drama when she first got with him. Because as we all know, his background was leaked out there. He went to prison for raping a 16-year-old girl. Then he got out in 2001 and he, you know, he got a manslaughter case for killing somebody. So he has a really serious, lengthy record. And so a lot of people were coming at her. Even the bars were like, you know, what are you thinking? Why are you with this guy? You know, you could get with anybody. You know what I'm saying? Why are you settling? So people were really upset. So much so that her and the Daily Mail even got into it because the Daily Mail was speaking on it and she got in her feelings and she was mad and she was threatening to sue them. And, you know, it was just a bunch of mess. So because people were not feeling her relationship with Kenneth, I think that's why she kind of kept it under wraps. So right now she's saying that she applied for a marriage license. Other people in the industry are saying that she's already been married and that they are planning on having a baby. She's saying that she wants a child. Nicki Minaj has wanted a child for years. So that's probably going to be the next step. Me personally, at this point in time, she's a grown ass woman. Okay. So I'm not, I can't tell her who to damn date. That is her business. Okay. And if she feels like her and this man have a connection and she's really in love with him, you know, regardless of his past and she's willing to hold him down, honey, do you. But what I will say is this, Nicki Minaj. Okay. Um, coming from a you know grown ass woman to grown ass woman, just make sure you protect your pockets. Make sure you protect you know what I'm saying your assets because what you don't want to happen is this. Okay, so many times we've seen a lot of black women, particularly in the industry, they will date somebody who's not on their level financially. And I'm not saying you know that that's good or bad. What I'm saying is that they'll date somebody who's not on their level financially. You know what I'm saying they may not bring in as much income and things like that. And then when the relationship goes sideways. All of a sudden, the man is suing like he done did some shit to get the woman where the hell she's at today. Ah, uh, for instance, Queen Mary J. Blige, okay? Look at what she went through with Ken Do, a.k.a. Ken Don't Isaacs. And I've been dragging him for how he treated Mary J. Bly because she made him a position. She gave him a manager job. She did so much stuff for him that he wasn't even able to do on his own. And then when they broke up, you know, he tried to take her to the cleaners. He was trying to get her for alimony and all types of crazy stuff. She went from paying him $20,000 a month. Then he took her back to court and wanted $60,000 a month. How about you go get a damn job, bro? You know what I'm saying? Same thing happened to Sherry Shepard. You know, she was all in love. They went and got a baby through in vitro fertilization. And, um, you know, they had somebody else carry the child. And then when her and her husband broke up, he was trying to get her for alimony, child support, everything. She's having to pay child support for this baby and everything. You know, we look at Wendy Williams and her situation. She was with Kevin Hunter for years. Now that they're breaking up, Kevin Hunter, he wants child support, spousal support, alimony. He wants the whole thing. So all I'm saying is, you know, love who you want to love. Be with who you want to be with. Because at the end of the day, you're grown i'm not in your relationship but protect your assets make sure you get a prenup make sure you know whatever he came to the table with is what he should leave with okay he shouldn't be leaving with half your damn you know what i'm saying everything that you built over these years so that's the only thing i will say onika protect your assets don't go down the same line as a wendy williams a sherry shepherd a mary j blige honey i could go on and on and on and damn on okay but again, if she likes it, I love it. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation concerning Nicki Minaj basically going in on Miley Cyrus, dragging her, and letting the world know that she sucked Mike Will's dick, honey. I wasn't expecting that one. <laughs> Mike Will made it, uh-huh, he sure did. Made it into Miley Cyrus's throat. <laughs> Okay, let me stop. Anyways, and then how do you guys feel about her um, basically coming out and saying that she filed for a marriage license to get married to Kenneth Zupetti? Do you think she's making the right decision? Do you think that she's not? Do you agree with me that she should get a prenup so she don't end up looking like a damn Wendy Williams or Sherry Shepard in this bitch, okay? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces.